Hi guys, welcome to this video showing you how to calculate the surface area to volume ratio of a nanoparticle. Now before we get started, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. The best way to look at this is to go straight into a worked example. And there are two ways you can be asked surface area to volume ratio questions. The first is where they give you the surface area and the volume and ask you to work out the ratio. If you get asked this, literally all you have to do is divide the surface area by the volume. So for example, if the surface area was 2400 nanometers squared and the volume was 8000 nanometers cubed, literally all you need to do is take 2400 and divide it by 8000 to get an answer of 0 0.3. And then to turn this into a ratio, all we need to do is say 0 0.3 to 1, as you can see here. The higher level question you might be asked is to work out the surface area to volume ratio when just given the length of a cube. So for example, a cube shaped nanoparticle has sides of 60 nanometers, calculate the surface area to volume ratio of the cube. Now to do this, there are a few steps, each of which will get you marks in the exam. So step one is to work out the area of one side of the cube. And to work this out, all you need to do is multiply the length by the width. And as all of the sides are the same length, all you need to do is multiply 60 by 60, giving me an area of my cube of 3,600 nanometers squared. Once we've done this, we need to work out the surface area. So if one side of the cube has an area of 3,600 nanometers squared, all we need to do is multiply this by six, as a cube has six sides. So 3,600 times by six gives me a surface area of 21,600 nanometers squared. Okay, that's the surface area sorted. Next, we need to work out the volume. Volume is nice and simply length times width times depth, which are all 60 nanometers. So 60 times by 60 times by 60 gives me a volume of 216,000 nanometers cubed. And now we have our surface area and our volume. So we can use these two values to work out our surface area to volume ratio, which as we did before is take 21,600, divide it by our volume of 216,000, giving me an answer of 0.1, which when we turn it into our ratio, gives me a surface area to volume ratio of 0.1 to one. And that's it. That's really all there is to it in terms of working out surface area to volume ratio. So if you'd like to have some practice at doing this, I will put a video in the top right hand corner, which will take you straight to a practice set of questions. Have a look at those and let me know how you've done in the comments. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel. You can check out the latest video and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.